Hi, welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. We're continuing our discussion about pollination. Two terms you need to know are monoecious and dioecious. Monoecious means that a plant, an individual plant, has both the male reproductive structures and the female reproductive structures on that individual plant. So each individual has both male and female reproductive structures. Dioecious means that each individual plant has only either male reproductive structures or only either female reproductive structures. So essentially, each plant is either male or female. The Latin translation for monoecious, mono means one, and eecious means house. So one house, meaning that all the reproductive structures are in one house on one plant. Dioecious means two house, which means that the reproductive structures are in two separate houses, two separate plants. Most flowering plants are monoecious. Again, meaning that both male and female reproductive structures are found on one plant. And most flowering plants also have perfect flowers, meaning that the male and female reproductive structures are both housed in one flower. But some flowering plants have what we call imperfect flowers, and that means that the flowers themselves on one plant are either all male, like this staminate flower on this carex, or all female, like these pistillate flowers on this carex. Now there are many different flower structures, but let's learn the basic parts of this monoecious perfect flower. This is an invasive vine, uh, Japanese honeysuckle, Lanicera japonica, but it's a great way to demonstrate the different parts of a flower. So this is the female portion of the flower. The top part is called the stigma, which receives the pollen, this long thin part is called the style and down at the base here is the ovary where the seeds form. These are the male parts and this top part is called the anther. The long thin part of the male is called the filament. And so the entire part of the male flower is called the stamen. Both the anthers and the filament make up a stamen. The entire part of the female, the stigma, style, and ovary is called the pistil. So the entire female portion is called the pistil. Thanks for joining me today. And next week we'll learn even more about pollination.